So guys, it's been almost two months since my last video. Everyone's been asking where I've been, and to be honest, I just felt really unmotivated to make videos. I felt like everything was getting repetitive, and I just felt like no one was really enjoying the videos that much anymore. There's also been some other personal reasons why I haven't been uploading. However, I do want to return. If you guys want me to make videos again, let me know by giving this video a like. And if you don't want me to make videos again, just be honest and dislike the video, because I'm not sure if I should continue. Anyway, this is my first video back, and if you are new here and you do enjoy this video, Video, make sure you subscribe. Anyway, let's get straight into this video. So you guys may know that a mod was made so you can play season one again. This is the actual OG season one and you can load into game and you can do a lot of other things as well, such as destroy builds and it basically works how season one used to. Now a lot of people have had questions about this and there may even be some things that you've been wondering. So we're going to be doing a season one Mythbuster video. Now again, if you guys want to see more, make sure you give it a like and I've also got some Among Us videos that might be coming out soon as well. Anyway, let's get straight into the first myth. So the first myth is do season 1 glitches still work in 2020? And during season 1, there was only a few glitch locations. Now, there wasn't that many glitches because the game was so simple. However, there was a few and one of the most well-known ones was this little hut. It would actually allow you to just go underneath the map. So you can see all of this here is solid ground. However, if we go inside of here and we do destroy the floor, we should be able to go under the map. So let's just test it. <laughs> and yeah, here we go. So you can see that the floor is kind of glitched. And when we destroy this, we're actually able to go completely underneath the map. So here we go guys and if we do have a gun you can see that we are able to use it and it does shoot outside of here so let's just shoot this wall here and see if it does do damage and as you guys can see it does so you could actually kill people under here and it's kind of difficult to move around here you do have to crouch otherwise there's not really much space but you can go quite far and i'm pretty sure you can also escape by going out of here so yeah you can you can literally just jump out and this is one of the most well-known glitches to ever exist so the next myth is how far does the Zapatron shoot? Now I did a video all about the Zapatron a few months ago and everyone was really curious about it. Some people were asking how far it shoots and to test this you can see we do have it in game again. Now you can see it can obviously shoot over there, no problem. And let's try and go a bit further and let's see what the distance is. So this tree's a little bit further, you can see that it just easily destroyed that. And this one's quite a lot further, so there's probably some guns in the game that don't really reach that far and it has no problem. <laughs> now we're going to go a little bit further again. So let's shoot this one. <laughs> and again, it's already destroyed. So now this one's quite far away. Let's shoot it and let's see if it can reach. And yes, it can. Now this one's even further and it's just slowly getting further away. So, okay. I didn't actually expect it to reach that far. Now let's try and shoot one of these ones. And okay. Did it not reach? Okay, no, it did reach. I think that it can go even further. So let's actually load this one up a bit just to make sure that it definitely does reach. And yeah, it just destroyed one of them. You can see we can shoot it and it's gone. Now let's see if it can reach this tree all the way up there. I'm going to be honest, I don't think it will. But let's give it a try. So three, two, one, and... No, there's no chance it's going to reach up there. So yeah, you can see that it can't reach over there. But at least we know it can shoot quite far. Anyway, let's get straight into the next myth. So for the next myth, we're going to be seeing if there is a height barrier in Season 1. Now, unfortunately, we can't really get our character all the way up there. There may be a certain command to make our character actually go up there, such as modifying the gravity. However, we're just going to be using free cam and we're going to see how high up we can actually go. Now, even if there is a height barrier, the free cam probably will be able to bypass it, but let's just see what happens anyway. So we're going to be typing in this command and we're going to press into enter. And now you can see that we are on free cam. And now what we're going to do is we're going to fly up as high as we possibly can. So we're going to go on to max speed <laughs> and look how sick this already looks so already we're probably way past the height barrier <laughs> and let's see how far we can actually go because i am really curious to see now let's just look around and oh my god that looks so sick look at the scenery it looks so different to the scenery we have now but now you can see how far away we are from the map and it's doing this weird flickering thing and i'm not going to do it too long because what the hell everything just went so much darker anyway that was kind of cool to find out and let's get straight into the next myth so the next myth is will god mode stop you from dying in death barriers? So as you guys know, back in season 1, you were able to die by touching the water. Now, because we do have a modded version of season 1, we can actually use a god mode command. So we're just going to type in god, and now we're in god mode, we shouldn't take any type of damage. Now just to prove this, I'm going to shoot myself with a rocket, and as you guys can see, we took no damage whatsoever. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the water, and we're going to see what happens when we fall into the water. Are we just going to instantly die, or will we be able to walk on the water? <laughs> so let's see what happens so i can't be bothered walking all the way there so i'm just gonna super run <laughs> and here we go so now we're gonna jump into the water <laughs> and let's see what actually happens okay so we did die i didn't actually expect that to happen to be fair since we had a god mode on i thought that it would actually allow us to walk on the water so i really didn't expect that to happen 
So the next myth is can he send friend requests in the lobby? So a lot of people ask this question and you can see that if we press into our friends list, we just have loads of big YouTubers. Now, if we press into add friend, we're going to see what happens. So let's try adding retaliate. And when we press it, nothing happens by the looks of it. Now I'm actually going to try adding my alt account. So let's just try that. Obviously it's not going to work, but let's just see what happens. And yeah, you can see it doesn't get added to the friend request list and it's not even on here either. Now, another question was what happens if you try joining someone else in season one? So we're going to just press to a random person and you can see that we don't have the option even if it was modified to say online i still don't think it would work so unfortunately it's not currently possible to join people in season one there is a way to join people in the lobby but there's not really any point and as well as that there's also a way to join people in game however that's not been made public and it probably never will be but let's just hope that one day it does anyway let's get straight into the next myth so the next myth is can you destroy buildings on spawn island now the reason we're testing this is because we can actually do damage now in game and around season three or four they did add the feature to destroy the builds on spawn island however before that it wasn't actually possible but there was one build that you could destroy so first of all let's just try this now you can see that it is impossible to destroy this now there's also this here which is impossible to destroy however during one of the seasons for some reason this was possible to destroy this is the only thing that you could destroy and let's see if you still can so no you can't for some reason and maybe it's just because we're running a modded version of fortnite or maybe back in season one that wasn't possible however that's probably something some people did want to know and i didn't actually expect that result anyway let's get straight into the next myth so for this next myth, we're going to see what the maximum FOV is on Fortnite Season 1. So you're going to see, if we go into the command console here, we can type in FOV 90. And when we do FOV 90, you will see that it will increase our FOV slightly. I think the default one is FOV 80. So what we're going to do is we'll just land and let's see what happens if we type in something ridiculous like FOV 1000. So here we go, guys. We've just landed. And now we're going to do FOV 100. So here we go. And it's already starting to look really sick. Anyway, we're not going to go up slightly anymore. Now we're going to go up quite a lot. So we're gonna do fov 200 and oh my god it's literally turned the screen upside down i've done this before and i don't know why it does this but it literally goes upside down now let's do fov 400 and see what happens so here we go and what the hell do we need to do fov 400 it zooms in again now i'm pretty sure if we do something ridiculous like fov 1000 it's just going to completely glitch out so let's do fov 800 and see what happens okay so <laughs> we just done fov 800 and it's kind of gone back to normal i'm not sure if it's exactly the same but everything's so sensitive now so let's do fov 2000 this time and oh my god it looks terrible right now we're gonna do fov 8000 <laughs> okay so you can see we've done fov 8000 <laughs> it's so sensitive now let's do fov 16000 <laughs> okay here we go is this gonna crash the game <laughs> and no it hasn't but look at this you know what screw it. i'm just gonna put as many zeros as possible <laughs> and what the hell i can't look this is as much as i can move it the second i move it slightly it just flips <laughs> so let's go back to fov 80 okay so that was weird and I don't know why that happened. That's pretty much all for miss for today's video. And just before we end it, I want to show you something cool. So Pole Risk 1.0 just got released whilst I was recording this video. Now this is what allows you to load into Fortnite Season 1. And you can see now if you go inside of the inventory, we've got so many weapons that we can choose from. And some of these are some secret developer weapons. You can see we also have some really weird ones like this one here. Now we can equip these and I'm pretty sure once we equip them, we can actually use them. So yeah, you can see that we've got this one here. And I'm not sure where this one is from. However, there's some really weird developer ones. If you guys do want me to do a video, showcasing and using all of these secret developer weapons make sure you let me know by liking the video and make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss out on that video and just look how many weapons there are like we've got some dynamite type thing here and then we've also got something called test god gun now i'm not going to use that just yet we'll use that in next video anyway i just like to say huge shout out to the polaris team they keep on working on this and they've even got building working now which is like the final big thing that they needed to get working so you can see if we press into f1 we've actually got walls and we can build which is insane and we've also got ramps and stuff as well so i'm just so excited about the progress of this and a huge shout out to the polaris team i will link the discords in the description so make sure you join the discord server and again make sure you do subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on all of the new features that get added to the game and as well as that my next video will probably be using all of the developer weapons anyway i finally returned back to youtube and i've got a lot of insane videos planned so i'm really excited for that and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye Ooh.